Welcome back guys to DSC University. I'm Dennis Wilkins, technical support and training here at Deer Supply Company, North Carolina. Today we're going to focus on charging our systems using the subcooling method. I'm going to be using a couple different gauges here. We have our analog. Also going to try out a field piece job link wireless probe set. We're going to dive into how to use the chart. Maybe why do we use subcooling? You know, what is superheat? We'll touch on a few of those things. So let's get started. All right, three things we're going to need before we get started. Of course, I have a set of gauges here, just some yellow jacket analog. You're also going to need something to take a line temp of our liquid line. I've got just a filled piece multimeter with a little thermistor taped to the line there. You're also going to want the outdoor temperature so that we can reference that to our chart and see what our subcool needs to be. As you can see, I just have a little thermometer here taking our outdoor temp. All right, let's get started on charging up this system. Like I said, we got a two ton 14 sear heat pump. We got a TXV in the outdoor. We also have a TXV in the air handler. Um, I'm just gonna be using analog gauges for this one, keeping it very simple, something everybody should have. Um, got a field piece. We got just a little temperature pro. I'm just gonna tape it on the line. Like I said, keeping it very simple. Um, we'll go through the charging chart, but one thing I wanna touch on before we can charge a system, we need to make sure the airflow is correct. Check your static pressure. Um, if you don't know how to check the static pressure, I'm gonna have some videos on there for that. We just wanna make sure our static pressure is good, make sure the indoor blower is running correctly before we can even dive into charging this thing, because if it's not, it's gonna throw everything off. Let's check our blower performance chart on this air handler and make sure it's running properly before we start charging. Here we have our blower performance chart. We got our two ton air handler for the two ton outdoor. Speed tap number five there. We're gonna scroll on over. We are running a 0.5 static on this system. So our CFM for this system is gonna be 833. So we're good to go to start charging this system. All right, let's take a look at our gauges here. Most guys wanna call and give me the PSI readings, which is fine, but we're doing subcool method. We wanna use our saturation temperatures on our gauges. So subcooling's all gonna be done on the high side. Let's look at our saturation temperature. We got 90 degrees. That's in our pink there for R410A. So we got 90 degrees saturation there. And we're gonna subtract our line temperature that we're getting here. Let's see what our line temperature is. So got, looks like we got about 79. Yep, yeah, we can call that 80 degrees. So we got a saturation temperature of 90 degrees we got a line temperature of 80. That's 10 degrees of subcool. We'll take a look at our chart with our outdoor temp at 71 degrees. Let's take a look at our chart. All right, let's take a look at our charging chart here. This is gonna be located on the back of the door on the outdoor unit on the corner there, the service door. I'm using the MyRoot app. Of course, we can use that in the field if we need to. So let's pull the chart up here and get it zoomed in. One thing you wanna make sure of what outdoor unit you're using. At the top there, you're gonna see the uh, RP1424. That's the outdoor unit, that's our two ton. You wanna know what orientation your air handler is. As you can see, we're gonna be using the UF LH, that's upflow or left hand. So we're gonna be using that chart there. Now you'll notice as you can see, the pressures come up first. Um, one thing I wanna point out, the factory says, we're using our pressures as a baseline only. So it's a gross charge check only. That's not what we're gonna be using for our final charge. Under that, you're gonna see our subcooling requirements. Um, 
that's what the factory wants you to use is our final charge verification as you can see right there so down the left side is our outdoor ambient temperature so we know we are at 71 degrees with our thermometer we had <clears throat> so we're going to follow that a little bit under 75 you can hit somewhere in the middle there so we're going to go over to our rp1424 come down as you can see the subcooling requirements are 13 so we had a saturation temperature on our gauge of 90 degrees and our line temperature was 80. so we'll separate we'll subtract that that'll give us 10 degrees of subcooling so based on this chart this system is just a touch low and remember if we're going to add charge we're going to add just a little at a time and let the system run for 10, 10 more minutes and let it even out. With the TXV taking temperatures, that TXV is gonna react every time we add charge or remove charge. So we wanna let it run a few minutes to even out. Thanks for watching DSC University. I'm Dennis Wilkins, tech support and training here at Dealer Supply Company, North Carolina.